playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime with the sleepy boys. Hey guys, Mark here. You're not going to hear a whole lot from me this episode. I kind of just let Brandon go off on his little tirade. So uh, here we are with Plandemic. Please enjoy responsibly. All right. Um, anyway, so back on topic. Like, uh, so there, there have been a lot of really shitty things, obviously, that's come out this week. Uh, oh, so we need to finish talking about the pandemic thing. Yeah, keep talking about the pandemic. So I've got a little. I've got a little bit. Of, um, you're not the only one that has uh, family members that are are doing it. Um, I had, um, I had seen some distant family members that, you know, when I see them and stuff, I talk with them and like I really do like them. But I don't interact with them on social media. I really don't interact with family in general on social media. I, I don't. I don't like to. Yeah. Um, I very. Mu I very much uh, developed my own um, kind of political belief and ideology system. Um, spiritually speaking, politics speaking, kind of thing. Yeah. That uh, is very different from. The rest of my family and so anytime i do talk about things it causes problems uh, that's why um I yeah i don't share yeah, my and, political opinion with anybody at this point point. and my thing is i'm like look i can't i'm not gonna i'm not I, you know i don't i don't try to change anybody's political stance or anything it's not my place but i do like to keep people you know open-minded and educated about you know you can't just listen to one side you do have to do a bit of research um, so I saw some family members post the pandemic video, and I, I, I regrettably watched it. Um, and I was just like, oh my god, this is so dumb. I got about 15 but, seconds into it, and I was just like, this is absolutely he, stupid. Yeah, but here's the thing about the pandemic video. It is a small part clip of an, a full-length documentary that is coming out called yeah. Plandemic. Yeah. Um, and the thing about this documentary is it is so well-funded, and there's a lot of rich people who put a lot of time and effort into this, and they made it really good. Mm -hmm. Not saying that the information is good, because it's no, not. No, the information's not. But um, coming from a psychological standpoint... Um, it plays into the kind of the human emotion side of things, and it presents these. Uh, I'm using quotation marks. Um, facts. Thank you. I couldn't. I couldn't like, see that, and I'm pretty damn sure our, uh, our audience didn't see the. the no, quotations. no. I, I mean, I tried to send out like laser signals into the sky, but you know, I doesn't really work when it's this early in the day absolutely does not um but um they present it in such a way that they bury the lead they're like oh so this doctor she does incredible work she's done amazing work and uh, she was fired from her job and it's like whoa really this amazing doctor was fired from her job why did they fire her well, she was getting into some really deep stuff that the, you know just this whole subverting like really playing into like you, they want you to feel bad for her and really hype this woman up. Yeah. Well, and I forget her name. Um, Doctor. Really, Doctor Lady, dude. Doctor. What I mean, I don't know. Doctor. Doctor. Hold, Jekyll. I mean, I could look it up real fast. Okay, so um, her name is Doctor Judy. Doctor Judy Mokovitz. Mikovitz. Yes. That's it. And uh, Mikovitz. Yeah. And um, she is a well-known... She, so she was... She is a well-known anti-vaxxer doctor. Like, ah. And now I have to use quotation marks around the word doctor following anti-vax. Um, which is a shame because she was a very well-respected doctor in her community in her field right but she started going down this whole virologist virologist kind of um pseudoscience thing about the whole like in, uh, being against vaccines and whatnot um 
But the thing is, the documentary takes the time to say she's not an anti-vaxxer. And um, tries to dissuade everything and really set her up as a martyr for the medical field and that people are trying to get her. The thing is, she was fired and then got in trouble and um, I think was sued or went to court for something. And they make a big deal about this court case and stuff um, in the video too. Like they're trying to get her. The thing is, when she was fired, she broke into the um, database at the, um, I think, her place of work, which I think, I can't remember if it was a college or not, um, but she stole all of the research and all of her files and stuff that were not hers. They were owned by her employer. Better be. And so that's what she got in trouble for. Complete the mission. Right. Um... <clears throat> Of so, course, of course, it's something that actually makes sense that she got in trouble for, right? And so they take all this time setting it up that she's a martyr and not an anti-vaxer, and uh, she then begins to spout bullshit. I'm not even gonna go into the bullshit that she spouts because it's just that it's bullshit. Right? It's anti-vaxer gives your kids autism bullshit. Um, Good job. And uh, here's your payment. Tech will always be in demand. I have family members that are like, "This mm. is eye-opening. This changes everything. We are being lied to and played like sheep." And I'm like, "Oh no, what happened? What is this?" And like I said, I normally do not comment, and I do not get involved in family's politics. And I normally do not get involved in commenting on conspiracy theories because. They're just funny sometimes, and they're interesting. Yeah. Sometimes they end up being real, and boy, that's always fun when that happens. Um, but this one really stuck out to me because this was dealing with medical stuff. This was greatly affecting. So I'll give you a little bit of a insight. They were talking about in Plantemic the fact that by being inside, we are doing damage to our bodies. That we need to go out and get herd immunity and just get the virus. And whoever gets it, whoever lives, lives. It's going to make us stronger. It's going to make us better kind of thing. But by staying inside, we're making our immune system more likely to die from the virus. So what my family was going on about was how they didn't want to – were believing this woman and believing this by the Institute. misleading documentary full – of falsehoods and all i could think about was if any of these people who i love and care about got each other sick got my grandparents sick i would murder them <laughs> oh yeah absolutely and like because of stupidity i'm like are you kidding me I, i'm not this is absolutely infuriating and it's infuriating because i love you and i know you're all smarter than this i hold you to a better standard than this and so I made a statement on Facebook kind of addressing that, hey, this is misleading. This is dangerous. Please do not do this. This is anti-vaxxer propaganda, which has proven there is nothing. There is no sound science. Like, there's like, no found, foundry for it at all. My, um, one, of, one of my family members um, decided to tell me that I hadn't done my research because – uh, if I had done my research, I would see that she wasn't an anti-vaxxer because the documentary states that she's an anti she's not an anti-vaxxer, and uh, I just lost it. I was like, I'm not doing this. Like, I I'm not letting this stupidity slide. Yeah, and, I had to. Uh, I had to thankfully, stop Facebook. Thankfully, I had a lot of friends that work um, at one of the hospitals here in town, and Wait, they started jumping you know, in. You know, people that work at a hospital. I, yeah, you could say that. I actually know a lot of people who work at hospitals. Wait, wait, is it that hospital that I also used to be uh, associated at? Yeah, it was that hospital. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, my God. Oh, my God. But, yeah, all those people jumped in and were like, yeah, this is bullshit. Don't listen to this. This is dangerous. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's... Fuck. Oh, all right, so we tangented there a little bit. Uh, we have... We, we, we would apologize, but we're not gonna. 
I'm not one to apologize unless I absolutely need to. I'm not. So I, I want to say I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. So hashtag sorry, not sorry. Um, it's just something that this really, it really does bother me about the kind of misinformation that gets spread around, uh, especially having so many people in my life who are a part of the medical field and have dedicated their lives to uh, making sure people stay healthy. So, I mean, yeah, I hope, you know, with anything that you encounter out there in the world, um, especially right now, I mean, yellow journalism has always been around. People are always going to try to take advantage of you and your feelings. Just do the research and don't go, don't necessarily look for things that confirm your point of view. Look for things that are going to contradict. Make sure you're getting well-rounded information. But also with that information that you are finding, make sure it is legitimate. There is so much misinformation out there that presents itself as legit information. So be smart. Yeah, guys, be smart. Do your own research. And, you know, don't be that guy that goes on Google and finds one result among 10,000 that supports your ideas. Continue.